Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And as usual, we give you guys nothing but bangers. So recently, our brother Rafael Akbejore conducted an interview with um, Sky Sports. And uh, by the way, I did do something with Akbejore like um, about Akbejore. Uh, last year around february 27th i think let me just take a look at it right here and i listen to it and yeah you right. four fights four weeks we're going to box and block center let's talk about rafael akbediori the nigerian hurricane a neverweight prospect who has four fights four wins with four KOs, knocking all his opponent out cold. So this was a video I did about him um, <clears throat> last year when he had only had four fights, and now he has six. In his last fight, uh, being against Ford, whom he knocked out in an impressive fashion. Akbejere is six eight. Okay, six eight. He's a jet of a man. A monster and just as I, just like I said back in the days he's a monster and I worst a sparring okay a uh, sparring clip of him against uh, Sanchez Frank Sanchez the Cuban fighter like bro I bet you like almost he dominated that fight in a way like his physicality is just like crazy and continue the fact that he is not like he's been a game for not 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 that long so naturally i think is you know football background played a part you know his football background played a part and his basketball athletic background as well you know he was born in nigeria lagos originally from Edo state <laughs> yeah so Edo state originally but born in Bray lagos before moving to uh the u.s and um yeah he's a graduate um and uh, yeah the guy is super super intelligent and uh, i cannot wait to see him fight a uh, nest but the news today is about him challenging anthony joshua and uh, sky sports posted is saying anthony joshua has new nigerian rival in a Rafa Akbajiri who targets world title fight in Africa. So according to Rafa Akbajiri, I said, I quote, he said, I quote, I can guarantee that the whole country will be tuned in. I can guarantee that the whole Africa will be tuned in. I've actually thought about the prospect of that. I still have a lot of work to do. And uh, said, um, yeah, like, he wants to fight Joshua in the future. He knows he had a lot, of, a lot to work on, but a clash between him and Joshua would be an epic clash. You know, uh, I saw some comment people say, you oh, know, uh, you only have six fight. You know, relax. If you're good, you're good in boxing. And I be believe me, but it's not a joke. Um, and he's a guy that's talented. But of course, let me invite Barry Olajide to give his take uh, and start on. Rabajiri challenging Anthony Joshua for a mega clash in the future in Nigeria, Africa. Bro, what's your take on this? You're like, you're a British Nigerian, so I mean, tell us how you feel about this. Like, as a, as a boxing fan, I guess it is time for we, you know, like for all Nigerians to have a mega clash between two Nigerians. You know, just like, for example, uh, the possibility of Joshua, uh, Joshua uh, Fury. In the UK is massive, right? It's massive to the British fans. It's the biggest. It will be the biggest fight in the, in, in in the history of uh, of of British, you know, uh, of uh, British boxing. So, um, I mean, that would be good. And also, looking at Efia Jagba being also in the line, you know, among the, those big guys, Joe Joyce as well. Imagine. George West versus Ifa Jagba, Akbar Jure versus Anthony Joshua, 
And you also have guys like Joshua Wahab, who you're going to hear the name very soon, coming because that guy is talented as well. You know, I mean, what do you take on this, brother? <laughs> um, uh, to be honest, yeah, yeah, it sounds good to be here. It sounds good to be here. It sounds good to be here. But it's a very, very long far journey. He said it himself. He said, he said it's yeah, not, not going to be now. And the, possi- the possibilities I can see for now will be himself versus Ajaba. Yeah. I, 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 sorry to interrupt, but I don't think Ajaba fights him now. It's a risk. The big risk for yeah, Jabba. Those are the, those are the, no, you see, it's a good thing to say. Like, it's a good thing to dream of. Like, yeah, I wanna one day, you know, be this that that. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but because the at the moment the gap is extremely too far. I'm not gonna lie, the gap is far. All right. So, but the thing there is, obviously. Because it's something he wants to do to get there. I'm not gonna lie to you. He has to start facing the likes of Ajaba, and then move on to the next one, and then you know build his way up as quick as he can. Yeah, it's something that can be very possible. Because I mean, AJ came in, so back in I three years, he became a world title holder, and under five years, he became, you know, a unified, you know, champion and stuff like that, right? So it's something that is possible. But what did AJ do? He had to work his way there, right? So it's a thing where if he's looking into doing that, yeah, it's a good thing to think of. Like, it would be, obviously, the age wise is even fine and calm. It's just going to be maybe like two years gap or a year gap between them, so stuff like that. And the height is just going to be like one inch anyway, and stuff like that. Six, seven, three, six, eight. So he is what well, he's. You know, it's not even a thing of talking about who the winner is going to be in that. that. It's going to is a thing. Is a thing to hope for a dream come true. But if you're going to sail for a dream come true, the thing where you need to look into work your way up there, and how is the way up there going to be? Trust me. So say you want to get up there, you need to be the likes of the other prospects that are behind of you. Drop them down and push your way up. And you know, by so doing, you can get there as quick as you can. You know, but it's a good thing. But yeah. The likes of Daddy Chapman first. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that what happens is when these guys that you're supposed to fight don't want to fight you because you know, like after watching the sparring of Aquari against Frank Sanchez, you you know Frank Sanchez. Mm-hmm. The way the way Aquari handled Frank Sanchez, like Frank Sanchez has been in more more. I think it's been in modern modern. Uh, 300 fights, right? Amateur fights. Mm-hmm. Akbajari came to the game a few years ago, you know? And for him to perform the way he did against Frank Sanchez, that shocked me. You know, at first I was like, okay, he's a prospect. Well, of course he is. You know, like, he's still got a long way to go. He's part with the likes of Ergovic. Yeah. You, you know that? Yeah, and no. he did extremely well like i've asked questions around like he did as well by the way he's gonna be joining us one of these days so you guys should stay tuned for exclusive interview with our brother rafa Bajuri. and the thing is i'm impressed with this mindset with his confidence of course as a boxer you have to be confident i know some Nigerians will say oh uh why not take it slow why not fight this why not fight that why not fight this the thing is that those guys you, you mentioned they don't want to fight him yet or they don't want to fight him now because they know he's a, he's a danger, you know, a danger with less name, like a l- less popularity. Hello. So that's what because I remember talking to, I mean, someone that um, works with him, and he told me, listen, he said we will be trying to get him some some big fights, you know, some big big fights. But the thing is, the people that should be fighting him don't want to fight him. They're like, okay, the name is not yet there. I know um i mean when a name gets dead we might fight him we might they don't say we will we might you know and his skill set is improving so aquaria is a very smart fighter though continue brother well you see um i'm not 
disputing anything you know when it, like i always say when it comes to boxing number one whatever it is you've done in your amateur does not mean anyone coming in i'm not you know man and you kind of more you around and stuff like that yeah i mean at least an example of seeing the experience of long time um long time um fury and aj real aj was even still about show and he didn't he's still on there and everyone knows of how aj mode fury take that away um ruiz has got a longer mature thing in that where's on ruiz right now it's not about you know whoever it is you know i'm not sure whatever, whatever that's number one then number two in terms of boxing the fight you really do want to see are mostly not the fact that tends to happen if you get what i'm saying and in terms of you know looking at the way it is it just is what it is and stuff like that but um again all these things again is down to you know your promo hours and stuff like that here yeah, to get you the deal that you deserve to get because obviously if you don't put yourself to where you belong and stuff like that it demoralizes it demoralizes you and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because it just keep making you and at the end of the day if you want to be seen as fighting law opponents and stuff like that it's well boxing will still take it out with it you still remain you know unbeaten and stuff like that but again you know it is it is a process it is something that will be nice to happen you know let's not get it wrong but you know like i said let's not even talk about matches of who will be in the stuff like that because i'm not gonna lie i mean everyone has their flaws and stuff like that and pff, if you look at it trust me trust me trust me if you, let's not talk about flaws and stuff like that but that's number one and um for him to give you a long time he needs some experience as well and to get that experience i ain't gonna lie it's turning the bay of some you know the, the, the way it doesn't to be worked up to be i'm not gonna lie to you to get there some ways just have to be worked up you know some ways just have to we just have to you know work your way up there and stuff like that you know it's it's a dream it's a dream and it's been nice to be a dream come true like you know see you know to you know Nigerian and that you know you know clash against each other and stuff like that it's a good thing and stuff like that but again it's just so many process to be done so that to get that done well i believe if akbajore works out you know works out keep on working out i think from now till four years time he might become a world champion he has the ability he has the attributes like he has the, the mindset to become a champion but the thing is getting the right fights you know yeah but that is you know, also the there you know now, you see what you said now yeah every fighter the truth is every fight someone wants to be a champion and when we talk about getting the right fight sometimes the, the truth is this your promoter will have to look at you as well because the truth is this we can be talking about fight this fight that fight that fight that yeah but your promoter can look at you your trainer as well can look at you like you know this person you want to go far the chances of you winning is a 50 50. let's not do that now you know there are promoters that do that and it's like the chances of you winning is a 50 50. don't worry about what you think of confidence is don't worry about where you think you are and that's one thing about fighting in that and that's where a good promoter a good you know trainer comes in they know this fight is a bit of a 50 50 for you it's a bit of a risk in that you know we can look at it now and say oh these people don't want to fight and they think it's too dangerous but the truth is they as well could be dangerous to him as well you know one thing about boxing is as long as you're not getting hit you seem fine but if you get this once trust me he can demoralize you completely did you watch his last fight the one with mark mark ford yeah yeah you watched it yeah sorry on that but let's be honest now yeah even though mark ford was a bit shorter yeah there are places where there are lapses on both sides and i'm not gonna lie to you with those kind of lapses let's be realistic now which are the things why it's good we kind of are talking about this now with those kind of lapses don't let me lie to you there are some mistakes that were made there around the first round here yeah? he cannot make that kind of mistake by jabba don't let me lie to you those kind of but those you have you also have to understand that he against shorter fathers you know like he's mastering new technique now 
for sure guys that's one thing you also understand against giants like Joshua like Jagba that is when you get to see the best of him even though like Frank, uh, Frank Sanchez is not a giant but the way he adjusted to Frank, Frank Sanchez style in the sparring when I saw it chucked me for a guy that just started boxing not long ago so you know you can see you see some people you see promise promise you see them you see the promising you know the promising ability in them Akbar is like that you know before I remember the first time I heard I heard of him uh, last year you know and someone like commented and said oh check this guy out Akbar go check him out and I you know I reached out to Akbar and he responded at that time he didn't know who I am so I I told him who I am and all that and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we started. We, we we got in contact, and I mean, I'm not just saying this because um, I know him. But I'm saying it because I I I know his ability, you know, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to, to see how he plays out. But right now, matching them and Joshua together, Joshua wins because Joshua like has more craft than him, and you know, he, the mm -hmm. skill set is there, you know, many many things there, but. At Bajir right now, like I look, I look at Bajir right now as the uh, the version of Joshua twenty, like let's say twenty fourteen version, learning on his craft. But the thing is that Bajir is, is is going to learn more quicker than Joshua learned because Joshua got to the B screen very early, you know. It didn't take you short time to get to the brief script. So Akbar is, is gonna use this time to start learning, learning more. For me, they are both Nigerians, they are both my brothers. I support both of them. You know, just like I support every Nigerian father. So I would love to see the fight in the future, you know. And I think it's gonna be I personally will go there so that I will go to that fight. If we have, if you take place in Nigeria, I personally will fly there. Go watch it. For sure, why not? Be monster clad. You know how many people will be there. We just like need to see more of Akbar and he was supposed to fight uh, next month here June, or due to record another stuff. He's not gonna be fighting <sighs> until uh, yeah, every everywhere um, like everything comes back to normal. So continue, brother. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's fine. You know, it, like I said, you know, it is. But well, like I said, let's not talk about lapses and stuff like that, because you know everyone has you know where things are stuff like that and that's why if i look at it now with the way if you say let's look at the way they both fight um himself and aj and stuff like that yeah it's a b there are places where it looks similar but there are places where you know in terms of jab wise it's kind of far behind aj and stuff like that even at AJ six round, because you know at AJ six five, AJ's most fight is always first two rounds. That's it. Early in the first round, or till AJ got to the um, as he um twelve to thirteen fight before he started you know keeping a beat like the third round and stuff like that. AJ's fight is always, and I think it was from daily and AJ started you know pulling fights like seven round and stuff like that. And that, and that. You know what I mean? But again, it's not something. It's just something that for me personally, based on my opinion. It's something I believe, well, if it's happen, it's going to be a nice thing. But again, the reason why I'm going to say, even if we're going to say land, land, land. Remember, these two people are not too far from each other, age-wise and everything. So it's a thing where, it's not a thing where maybe if it's going to happen, it's just going to be like, maybe like uh, eight, nine years older and that. No, the thing is still going to be there. And as long as age is still going to be, and the fame because one thing I keep looking at with AJ now is once AJ becomes, if it's Apple's quicker, or maybe next year, and AJ becomes the unified champion, there's nothing left to the boxing anymore. Bro, AJ, AJ has stated that listen, if AJ does not fight Nigeria and retires, he's gonna lose a little respect. You see, like I said, yeah. Um, listen, is, if Joshua retires, listen. If Joshua retires tomorrow and does not fight Nigeria, our person will not be happy. He's not because business if he doesn't fight Nigeria. Let's bro, bro, it's my business because 
We cannot have listen, listen. We cannot you, you can we cannot have a Nigerian father, you know, or, or father of Nigerian descent as inspiring, as popular as Joshua and did not fight Nigeria only for them Britain. That's the, that's that would be bad for that would that would be bad for real. I tell you that. I, I'm no, just saying it. For me it will. It doesn't it will. Like how can you like you're fighting an anonymous land that you know fight your own in your own fatherland. That's the tr okay. Let's bro, it matters, I'm brother. It matters. It matters. So you, we are talking about you, Joshua now. We're not talking about we're not talking about yeah. no, no, Niger, no yeah. Nigerian father. It's different. I'm listening to you. But Joshua is a big name. The name is Listen, huge, bro. There's one thing. There's one thing people always say. We always kind of try to plan more one thing. Bro, but we're not traveling anything. Happens, fine. If, if it not, if it happens, if it does, if Joshua does not fight Nigeria, I will, I will have people over there. Of course, he it's needs to. He, he needs to. It's not. He does not. He needs to fight All there. It, it, it needs to, to except to except like i said except economically if you know of course fighting is money it you know bro 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 listen no bro 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 nobody nobody is talking about who who owe anybody anything but the british people it, listen that's what I said it, it, listen like said, like listen Wait, Listen. Just said one thing now. Doesn't owe the, anybody anything, which we're not talking about. So nobody's nobody's saying there, nobody's saying that he owes anybody anything. He owes somebody or something. Nobody's saying he owes somebody and somebody exactly. something. So if doesn't owe nobody, but if he does not fight Nigeria, for, he fought in America, fought in Arabia, so, fought so, in U UK, and so, his own fatherland, he did not fight there. He bro, he's a bad name. He's a um, he's a bad like name. He doesn't need to fight Believe me, he's a bad name, bro. Except maybe Nigeria. Oh, he's a bad name. Is it is it is just in the is, is in the calamitous calamitous like state? I said, like I said, that's I your opinion. You but for my opinion, yeah, it's a bad name, bro. Like I'm like I'm, to like to I'm to not gonna be be oh yeah, yeah like Nigerian first Nigeria we don't enjoy Joshua fight like the the the, the no, father we, the best the, the best father we've had for 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 since uh, since uh Simon Peter. What do you mean? Is even the best? Is even is even most popular than Simon Peter? Can you wait? Can you wait? Can you wait? Yeah. Forget about how popular he is and that and that. Don't say Nigerians, yeah. You Bro, let me, you, let me tell you, let me let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. If the great Muhammad Ali uh, can fight in in Africa, a uh, African American who basically cannot even trace back his uh, cannot trace his route back to a specific country, can go to Congo and fight. To represent, he, he, do, you, do you think? No, 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 bro, 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 bro. It's not, bro. Forget about copy. Forget, forget about copy. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, just I'm, 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 I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm talking. I'm talking from, from, an inspirational standpoint. He doesn't have to. He does not have to. Lennox Lewis fought we, we in South Africa. Joshua, as big as he is. We're not, if he doesn't fight Nigeria, it's a big problem. I'm telling you. I mean, that's to you. That's for people, you. for some people, for for me, of course, it is. As a boxing yeah, fan, like many people in Nigeria cannot experience cannot experience uh, 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 Joshua fight. Don't talk for people, bro. I'm talking for people because I'm an, I'm the voice of Nigeria boxing. Whether you like it or not, thousands of people follow follow me. They watch this channel, and Joshua has to fight Nigeria someday. Except, except, go for him then. Who am I gonna force it? I'm not gonna force anybody, if but I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna speak my mind. No, we don't we don't need to do all this. All this is unnecessary. That's not Bro, it's necessary. It what are you 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 for you? It, you you is not necessary. It does not have to. Let's you are not in a position to do that yet. Listen. Listen. So Let's how can we how can we have Muhammad Ali, uh, Muhammad Ali uh, an African American who cannot trace like who cannot wait. directly trace his route uh, to any country in Africa? Yes. Fight there. And yet, you say our own See, son, our own son of the soil, we don't have to fight there. Why? Because See, uh, in a, you know, we don't hold, you don't hold us anything. Who says you? Who says you or something? Can you please wait? Bro, I'm sp who please says he holds or something? Please, oh. He doesn't hold anybody any any anything. But the thing is that if Joshua fight in Nigeria, is going to inspire a lot of upcoming young boxers from Africa in to like to take a boss is going to boost Why it up bro uh, Joshua is a role model to many ma that. millions it nothing stops him from, from bro you want Joshua you're different bro you're different because you're not a boxer you know, you're wait, not wait, a, wait, hold on just stop please wait just listen yeah yeah listen. okay just wait just wait and listen 
please. I'm listening. Listen, I'm listening, bro. What we're trying to say now, yeah? Mm-hmm. They're just coming for one thing. Become John the Spirit and stuff and that and that and that. And that. Yeah. Once AJ becomes John, if AJ end up, if they look at it like, okay, no fight, there's just going to be one fight this year. And it turns out to be, okay, AJ Fury. And it becomes the undisputed. They defend your title, one, two, this and that and that. What's going to be left for him to do? At some point, he's going to look at it like, you know what? At some point, he might even look at it like, you know what? I've achieved what I need to achieve. It will be, end up becoming someone that will fight once in a while. First bro, 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 Let's bro. See, we just like to deceive ourselves. If bro, bro, bro. You mean, maybe you, maybe you, you are deceiving yourself. I'm Me, I'm not deceiving myself. Yeah, well, you might be done. You might be done with it because you are not in the position. The guy is an inspiration to millions of people. I'm a boxing fan, and I want to see it. And many, 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 many of people in Nigeria want to see it. So what is wrong about that? Don't talk for people, yeah. Well, I speak for people because people follow me. So you have to understand that people message me every day. If you want, if you look. So what do you mean by that? Don't worry, yeah. I'm the voice of Nigerian boxing. You have to understand that. So me being the voice of Nigerian boxing. It would be a good thing to okay, see just so fight there. So with everything he has done now, yeah, and mm-hmm. some things he's doing there, which you know, mm-hmm. most of the things he's doing is not even fully open in Nigeria yet, and that, and that yeah. So mm-hmm. what you say now is, if you end up quitting boxing without fighting in Nigeria, now, like oh, it just reputation is that that because like you say now, inspire you fighting there does not mean you're not going to inspire who you want to fight this. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 bro. You only say about the same thing. What's the same thing? Nobody is the you should have said. I'm telling you. Bro, bro, bro. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. You are saying, you said it that he does not who he doesn't who anybody anything. Exactly. And you confirmed it as well. Yes, he does not. And I said, if you don't owe nobody nothing, I'm not saying you owe anybody anything because he doesn't. But at the same time, at the same time, his footsteps. Listen, if George, if Wada fights in Nigeria and Joshua does not fight in Nigeria, it's a big change. It's not his business. It's not his business. It's a big change. And his reputation will go down. I'm telling, I'm not, I'm I'm just telling you. It will. That's to you. It will. That's to you. That's to you. Because. Listen, a wada come to Nigeria and fight. Yeah? All these fighters you've mentioned, all these fighters you've mentioned, yeah, and that yeah, in Africa and that, and that. yeah, yeah. Saudi Arabia, AJ went to fight, they didn't go there. Yeah, when Saudi Arabia, AJ went to fight, they didn't go there. Listen, for every fighter, everyone is trying to make their name where they feel like they can. Everyone is doing their thing how they believe is going to suit them and that and that. If he doesn't fight there, listen, we've both said one thing, he owes nobody anything. He does not need to fight there. If it happens there, fine. Just like when he went to Saudi Arabia, he doesn't need to fight there, but it suits him then. And he went there. If anything happens in Nigeria and it looks like it's gonna suit him and he goes there. Fine. First of all, f- first of all, first, 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 first of all, first of all, first of all, Joshua is a fighter. Joshua, Joshua is a fighter. Okay, he doesn't care where arena is. The guy has fought in uh, uh, Azerbaijan and all that stuff. He's fought before as an amateur. He's, he went to many places to fight. But you have to understand. For you, it is just it's simple for you to say. I will, listen. I grew up watching boxing in Nigeria. Okay. I grew up like sneaking out of the house to go watch, you know, my Tyson fight and all that. Watching as Lewis, you know, really bow. Yeah, I wasn't. It wasn't allowed in my household. So, and I always wonder why, like, why we we don't like why uh, Nigerian fighters don't, you know, like I remember back in the days when uh, Akibi Abuchi fought, we started fighting, you know, was fighting, it wasn't. But the thing is, Akira Bochi wasn't really that known. Like he wasn't known in Nigeria like that. It was only known by maybe hundreds of, or maybe maybe possibly hundred people, hundred or plus people. And Samuel Peter, Samuel Peter, his name really really boost up Nigeria uh, boxing. I'm telling you the truth right now. Samuel Peter had a huge impact in Nigeria boxing, but. The impact that Joshua will have on it is will be far more greater. You know? Far more greater. It will be that of the Muhammad Ali impact. I'm talking about having impact on the young boxers, on your upcoming people that some people will, will even take a boxing after that. It's not a must for him to fight Nigeria, for sure. It's not a must. But if a guy like Wada fight in Nigeria, Maybe someday, if it happens, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if it happens. If it happens, and Joshua doesn't, maybe if Joshua doesn't fight Nigeria, it could be 
for okay for economic reasons maybe the money is not enough like that okay we can understand that or it could be for maybe the like the organizers you know are not ready for it i can uh, like we have it's like for example it's like having a musician okay a huge musician of nigerian descent you know go to shows all over the world but don't come to nigeria you think Nigerian music music uh, the music music fans would be happy like that to see their 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 home blood is selling going to shows in another country and not come to your own land and perform for the people, you know, boxing is like music. And when you are in the position of Joshua is, you are now like a star. People want to see you fight. It doesn't matter who you fight against, but people want to just see him fight. So that's what I mean. So you saying, oh, he doesn't hold anybody anything like, uh, he's, he's typical. Why do you have to copy, bro? It is nice to represent heritage. Forget about whether you are like, uh, you yeah, have money or you don't have nothing or whatever you may be. Muhammad Ali represent, represent his heritage. He fought worldwide. But fought in Africa and it was different. There was Louis fought in Africa as well. So many fighters are foreign Africans. I mean, it's good. It doesn't have to be in Nigeria, it can be anywhere, bro. But it has to happen, except economic reasons doesn't allow it to happen. They will understand that. It's simple. Joshua loved Nigeria. Like he said, he's proud of being Nigerian, he's probably British. You know? So he's not saying, oh, it's not just like claiming the oh, old uh, British side and forget about Nigeria side. He's proud of being both. He's fought in the UK fall in america for for the in, uh, in Saudi arabia someday it'd be nice to see him fight in nigeria so it is what it is as a boxing fan i might be selfish but it's what it is if is if the economic if if he, he can fight them due to economic reasons okay but if it's like intentional then that's bad for me you know like that's bad it's just how it is maybe because i'm pro-nigerian but is what it is, bro. So we're still gonna watch it right now. Make sure you like the video, subscribe. You know, we give you guys nothing but bangers. Oh, let me say, my bro, uh, Tajab, we yeah, yeah, man. You 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 heard it right? <laughs> I mean, I like you didn't go it out. It's always good I, to have an audience. I like it, bro. I love it. What do you think about it? What do you think about this, bro? Yeah, yeah. I mean. AJ is uh, um, he's growing so you know hopefully things come in place that where uh, uh, he could fight in Nigeria I, I like both of your arguments I, I, I could see it happening at the same time I don't I can't see it happening if things don't take if things don't work out properly you know the way Nigeria is it, it could happen and it cannot happen you know um, this is what I'm all, saying as well <clears throat> it, all, it all depends on the the managers and the promotion and if they see something good out of it they'll do it hopefully i i honestly i would want it to happen in nigeria because it would be amazing yeah you know, what is so wrong about is. that what's so wrong people from america will go there the uk from the, from germany will go would love to go there and also people in nigeria will get the same fight not just on tv like on tv always and because he's like he could probably be the biggest star we might have maybe I mean, to the est, is is like he's big, big, big. You know, in the, in the, like you have regular boxer, you have Joshua up there, top notch. You know, the name, the brand. It's just like, for example, a musician, okay, a popular musician. For example, like Shade. You know, Shade. You know, like uh, yeah. maybe maybe she didn't perform in Nigeria. Although I know she was born in Nigeria, but if she didn't perform in Nigeria, for example, like she got famous worldwide. But if she didn't prefer Nigeria, like, do you think Nigeria would like see her in a way they see her like, you know, say, or oh, for example, like Whiskey now, maybe boy in Nigeria grew up in the UK and, you know, d don't prefer Nigeria, but he's like, you know, representing his Nigerian, but he doesn't want to perform there. You think Nigerians would like, like look at him in a way they look at him now? No, he wouldn't. They wouldn't. They would say, ah, what's wrong? Well, like, why? Like, you, 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 you sell out. That's what they would say. It's how it is. But like you don't understand that because when you're in a position of inspiring people, people look up to you. 
you know me i just want to see you as a boxing fan it doesn't it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect me personally but i know many people that did because he said i shouldn't speak for anybody but you're for, you're forgetting i have thousands of people who are subscribed to this who my platform and who write me every day and who are like applauding and say wow you're promoting nigeria i'm the voice of nigerian boxing no other person does it now the way i do it maybe someone else will come and the more people come the more better it is because then nigerian boxing uh the voices can be now visible to the world right now it's just me and one other guy like that you know doing it but i'm more like more known than that guy you say oh it's just only you one we are not in we are not having a face-to-face -face conversation now you have to understand that we are in we are we are doing this for the audience and the audience thousands of them are nigerians more than ten thousand of them are nigerians why did they why do they follow this 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 channel why do they, why they subscribe because because i'm a nigerian and because i talk about nigerian boxes the people got to know more about nigerian boxes through this channel than they know in other channels true or false Ty, true or false Uh, true, true. So, uh, like they're saying, oh, uh, uh, speak about you only. No, I'm speaking for the people, not for me only. But if, if if it's for myself, I don't care. I'm in the Western world, so I can go to the UK and watch it, or go to anywhere and watch it. But I know that a lot of people, thousands of people in Nigeria, millions, will be. It will be a glorious day to see you fly. You know, we don't want to see someone, one of our blood, you know, be on top and don't want to fight in our land. That would be a kind of disgrace or self-aiding stuff like like it is. You know what I mean? I can Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali. Don't you know what the 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 the, the robot the Jogo did for just for my Muhammad Ali? It's still being talked about to this day. But do you do you know that Joshua in Nigeria? might be more bigger than Robert the Jungle or say maybe the opponent but if Joshua fights like for example let's say Akbejiri or Efia Jagba maybe their name is like big as well you know maybe their name is like also big when it becomes like huge and it happens do you know how many Nigerians will be there? more than 200,000 will be who want to watch it and millions you know, so you have to understand me. I'm a Pedirian, so I'm not saying you should not like. I'm not saying it's a must, but at the same time, I believe it is a duty. You know, to uplift Andre Boxing, and Joshua has the biggest platform to do that. So that's what it is, man. We don't know when next Joshua will come that will have the same name like this. So we'll see. How are you? Um, continue, brother. Sorry to tell, bro. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I think uh, him fighting there will be historical, uh, just like uh, Muhammad Ali did um, in South Africa. That was very historical. So, I believe... In, in, in Congo, he did in Congo as well. The, the one, the robot of the jungle, the one uh, he and just former. Remember, Congo Zari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that one may still mean airline, uh, still mean airline to this day, you know. But, you know... Uh, so let, let's just hope for the best for AJ. Yeah, man. Like that's that's what we. I like saying that. Why would we have to copy? Like, what do we mean by copy? He's a boxer. He's a influential boxer, just like Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali was. You know, the the difference is that Muhammad Ali was like, you know, his name was big in a in a. a he had a bigger name than Joshua because of the political, you know, um, stuff that was going on. You know, he refused to go to Vietnam and all that. You know, like. They made him huge, you know, huge when he refused that. So we have to look at that. Um, what I do here, I'm not, I'm not doing it for myself. If I did for myself, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even like, I'd be doing, I wouldn't even talk much about it. Just say, give me, let's say something to live in. But I'm doing it for the Nigerians, for Nigerians. So we might not agree, but I definitely know, I mean well. And what I'm doing, I know thousands, no one person, not two thousands of people like it. And who are watching right now, you know, or who watch the channel, or who, of course, who watch the videos, they all know. You know, so we'll see what happens though, but you never know in the future. 
if they shall be common in spirit and decide to retire um it's going to be very very sad stuff but at the same time uh this is what it is and if the underwater fights in nigeria before joshua i know that i might even go there towards the fight you know he's a nigerian you know true ancestry though so be nice but i don't know if, i'm not sure of the underwater but but well, you never know we'll see what happens man Stay blessed, Youngest Jumbo guys. We'll wrap back for a new banger. Cheers.